Before Soul Train, the Arsenio Hall Show, and even The Tonight Show, there was an oh-so-special program on public television that provided the soundtrack for black life in America at a pivotal time in history. I'm Ellis Hayes, the friend. Welcome to Soul. James Baldwin. Earth, Wind & Fire. Stevie Wonder, Nikki Giovanni. Harry Belafonte. Al Green. Yo, this is every day. Be still. Every superstitious. I was giving TV exposure to activist revolutionaries. They want me to go to Vietnam to shoot some black folks that never lynched me, never called me. There exists, as far as I know, no TV program that... So amazing. Mr. Soul, Soul premiered in 1968, and for five years, the show provided a stage for black music, the black movement, and most importantly, black pride, helping viewers take a little piece of soul with them wherever they went. And thanks to our next guest, an entirely new generation is getting to experience the magic. Please welcome the filmmaker who wrote, produced, and directed Mr. Soul, Miss Melissa Hazley! <laughs> Good morning, thanks for having me. Oh my gosh, uh, thank you for being here, and thank you for bringing Mr. Soul to those of us who probably would not have even known it existed. I know, it's kind of like a lost gem, you know? It's so exciting to bring Ellis Hazep and Soul back to the public after almost 50 years. Yeah, so first of all, congratulations, because you won a Critics' Choice Awards and NAACP Image Award for Mr. Soul, rightfully so. And it tells the story of, of your uncle, Ellis Hazelip's groundbreaking PBS show. So how is this feeling to be able to do this now, shine the light on the work your uncle did for the culture and just the effect it has, it had then, and it's having on us now? It's so important, and I'm so excited because this was a show that was all about black joy, black excellence, black pride. And these are some very important themes that we need today, especially during these uncertain times. It's important to look back and realize we've always been excellent. And to show this incredible love, it's like a love letter mm -hmm. to black culture. All right, and I told you during the break, I said this show is better than a lot of the shows we have now combined. I said what I said. I, yeah, I'm, just, I'm just saying. So, and I'm like, like, I know people have tried to imitate it, but it's never been duplicated. So it's surprising that we don't have a show like this in this day and age. And since you have, like, the powers that you have, what are the chances that we can get something like this, bring back Mr. Soul or something soul-like? It's so important. I think we always need a platform for black excellence and a place where we can be ourselves, unapologetically black and show the the expanded images of blackness, which are, you know, across the diaspora. And Mr. Soul is such an important person because he really brought diversity, inclusion and pride to the national audience. And we could use that now more than ever. We could certainly use a voice like Ellis Hazlip now more than ever. So that's a yes. Yes, you will work on bringing back a Mr. Soul show. Thank you very yes. much. That's what, I needed to, that's what I needed to hear. All right, so the performers were definitely the centerpiece of the show. And now music from and inspired by the film is available, but it's not your typical soundtrack. Explain what you've done with the music. Well, we wanted to start with an homage to Soul and also bridge the gap between, you know, the 50 years and all the incredible music that we've heard since then. So it starts with an amazing song by Robert Glasper and Layla Hathaway called Show Me Your Soul. It was shortlisted for the Oscars for Best Original Song. And then it expands upon this amazing music from our time and also inspired by the film and you can stream it everywhere it's available on all platforms the soundtrack for mr soul was released um just a couple of months ago on def jam and it was the first release on hillman grad records which is the division of umg so we're so excited to bring this music and it's playing on the radio it's amazing yeah, you're amazing, and you, had to, you got to work with some even more amazing people uh, on this project, from Mr. Stan Lathan, Lena Wythe, Blair Underwood. And, by the way, I'm an amazing stalker, so I kind of stalked you in addition to <laughs> watching Mr. Soul. And I know that just because you're doing stuff behind the scenes, you started in front of the camera, from Broadway to television shows, television movies, SNL, excuse me. So my question is, what are the chances of you stepping back in front of the camera anytime soon? Or are you like, nah, I'll just be behind the scenes? You know, what I'm working on is oh. trying to bring soul back to life. I think we could use a show like this, but a modern version of it. So I'm hoping with the excitement around the film and that you can see it now on HBO Max, 
in really bringing this incredible catalog of black excellence and bringing it back in a way that we can now appreciate. All right, I appreciate you for doing this because like, I didn't, I honestly didn't know anything about Mr. Soul, about your uncle, and then watching this, it was like an education, education that not just I as a black woman needed to see and a black woman in television needed to see, but just for everyone to actually see how, how it, 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 it's important for people to see versions of themselves on television. It and really is. It's so important. You know, visibility is everything. And for us all to be reminded that we're all standing on the shoulders of giants and we're all, you know, black seeds of excellence moving forward. So it's just exciting to share this beauty and this truth of who we are, especially in these, you know, difficult times yep. to remind us of our greatness. Ah, thank you for reminding us of our greatness because sometimes we tend to forget. Thank you so much for joining us. Everyone, Mr. Cole, Soul is currently streaming on HBO Max. Be sure to check it out. You will not be disappointed. You will be inspired and lifted up. Thank you, Ms. Hazlip. Thank you. See you soon.